In this tutorial, we will see how to measure the differential gain and common mode gain of a, any random given circuit. Over here, we have drawn the layout of a random circuit and we will be measuring the common mode and differential gain. We see the two inputs to the system as shown here. We will be feeding the voltage source to these two inputs. First, we measure the differential gain by selecting the component button and clicking on the voltage source. Here, we select a voltage source and place it as shown. We wire the voltage source to the two inputs of the system. Next, we specify the type of voltage source by clicking on the voltage source and specifying values. We click on the advanced tab and specify the voltage source to be of an AC amplitude 1. This means that the amplitude is 1 volt for all frequency range, just as in the case of a white signal. Also note that the DC value is put as 0. Click on OK to finally configure the voltage source. Next, we run the simulation to get the plots. So for this, we run an AC analysis and select the type of sweep as decade. Then we specify the start frequency as 1 hertz and the stop frequency as 1 kilohertz. Next, we specify the number of points per decade as 100. And following this, click OK. To get the simulation results, we move the mouse pointer to the output terminal as shown. Once we reach, it appears as a, a probe. We click on it and get the Bode plot as shown. The solid line represents the magnitude and the dotted line shown here represents the phase plot. The left corresponds to the magnitude and the right the phase angles. This shows the differential mode response of the system. Since the input amplitude, AC amplitude is 1 volt, the Output decibels corresponds to the gain of the system. Once the differential mode setting is put up, now we configure the system in the common mode gain. For this, click on the voltage source and delete it. Then we again input a new voltage source as shown. For this, we have to input the voltage source as a common mode. So we, term we short both the input terminals and connect it to the positive of the voltage source. Next, we have to ground the negative of the source as shown. Then as before, we specify the voltage source with an AC amplitude of 1 volt and 0 DC value. And we run the simulation with the previous setup. And again as previously described, once you click the output, we see the, the solid lines as the magnitude response and the dotted lines as the phase response. This corresponds to the common mode response of the system. And since again the input is an amplitude of 1 volt, the output corresponds to the gain of the system. This completes our tutorial for today.